It's dunk day, but it's a gloomy one. I guess the storm's coming. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I missed a step. If you saw that, my coffee went everywhere. It's a Thursday classic. Last Thursday, I had a killer session. And then two days after that, I had another decent session. But now we're back to the Thursday full dunk day. Let's go. So I got a dunk camp in two and a half weeks, one and a half weeks, sheesh, it's like 10 days or something. We're testing on the Monday, our vertical, so I think that's the day I wanna peak because I really wanna just get that vert as high as I can on that vert tech. Last night I actually warmed up on 10 feet like I did last week and I felt great. I wasn't jumping up, I was a little bit unconfident. So even though I'm dunking pretty easy on 10 feet, I really want to focus on technique because my footwork, especially off the dribble, goes really poorly. Sticking with that we shall see mentality, meaning just make progress, see how I feel, and listen to my body, exactly. So focusing on jumping high and getting that technique down, because that technique is what I need. I know I can jump high enough to dunk on 10 feet, but I want to hammer home that technique while I have this mental freedom on this low rim. If you know me, dribble dunks have been my weakness, especially two hands. Two hands off the dribble, right, left has been my hardest dunk. And for me to do that in warm up so easily, I'm getting over it, meaning it's feeling natural. I'm using what I have, the potential's there, I just have to use it properly. I never really do that, but I palmed it on that one a little bit, but uh, really good for the first jump, right handed. So it's only been 10 minutes since I started my warm up. So that's really good data that I'm glad I have this Fitbit for. My goal is to jump like that with two hands off the dribble. Barely broken a sweat, so I'm gonna keep it this gradual, but I'm feeling great. Now if I can only do exactly that off the dribble.
about to get silly. I gotta bang that. So off balance. Legs feel a little bit sore today. So if I try to go off the dribble mentally, it feels like full speed is gonna break down. So I'm gonna focus on slow approach dribble dunks. And then that, when I'm fresh, that's when I'll do the full speed approach. I did heavy sleds two days ago. My legs are still a little sore, but that's good. This feels like a low energy day, and I'm still jumping great. I know it's pretty pathetic, I can't even two-hand dribble dunk, but it's the hardest thing for me. I don't jump properly, but that's why I'm repping it out. The good news is, even though I have to relearn the dribble dunks, my slow approach is way higher and way easier than it was before. So now I have the, the last piece of it really good, and now I gotta get the full approach again. Stick around to the end of this video, I'm about to put a one foot dunk down. I think I'm going too fast. So I'm not going to slow it down, I'm just going to make sure I go up, and I'm going to punch it. That was the lowest jump and I got it. Alright, a little bit better. I still pushed it through, which is bullshit, but uh, great day. I got two of them down, it's major progress. Keep it pushing, stay focused, listen to your body. Dunk life, baby, dunk camp in half a week, fucking whatever. Feeling great. Gonna dunk soon, take care of my body, lift a little bit, whatever, dude. We're working out here. I'm feeling good. Gotta get those dribble dunks up, but my max jumps are feeling great. I think I jumped about 42, 43 today. Max jumps feeling great. New shoes feeling great. Life feeling great. Only got one word for that. Decent.